Welcome back everyone to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. If you didn't watch the last episode, you should have. It was a very important one. So I'm not even going to explain it. But let's just say I'm kind of inside the moon. Even though this looks weird. But okay. That's some kind of trippy, weird, dreamlike prairie sequence. So I'm just going to go with it. This game is already very confusing. Let's see what we got going on by this lone big tree up here. Oh, I see kids running around. And then a lone child sitting under the tree wearing Majora's mask. Well, I have all the masks in possession, so to do 100%, I gotta talk to each of these kids before talking to this loner. So let's see, I guess I'll start with the one that's wearing Aldawa's mask. Who's wearing Aldawa's remains? Uh, this looks like him. Come here, I need to talk to you, children. Run, run, it's weird. My gosh, these kids are fast. He's fast to get alive. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Mass, you have a lot. You too. Will you be a mass salesman? Then I'll play with you. So, the masks. Give me some. Okay, well, I can do that. Got lots to give up. I don't need this one. This is a very unimportant mask, even though it's kind of a hat. I don't need this. Thanks, you. You're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. Alright, I'll hide. Good. And all these kids look like children versions of the Happy Mask Salesman for some reason. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. But I'm here. So this first part sort of the Deku part. So I'm going to be Deku Link. And I'm going to hop from flower to flower and do all this crap. And you may notice some gossip stones here. If you have the Mask of Truth, you can read these gossip stones and get some hints about where some masks are that you may have missed. But you do have to have the Mask of Truth in order to even get these hints. So it's assuming you already have that. So I guess I'll go ahead and read some of these Mask... I mean, Gossip Stones. Since I do have the Mask of Truth. Let's see... No. No, wrong mask. There we go. Read! Read it! The Mystical Stone are supposed to the Mask of Peace to you. But his words are in secret. It seems the Postman of the Postman's Hat. Well, of course the Postman of the Postman's Hat. In fact, that's the mask I just gave up. Not that I needed it. I mean, yeah, you can... It doesn't tell you where the masks are exactly, but it does tell you who has them. So I guess that's the next best thing. So at least you know... Or have a general idea where to start looking if you don't have all the masks yet. But since oh, I know everything about everything, I already know where the masks are. Yeah, I barely made that. I'm gonna fly over here because I saw a piece of heart. I'm going. I'm going. I get an opportunity to read another one. I got a heart. And the last four remaining pieces of heart are in the moon. It seems Cafe and Andre are the couple's masks. Yep. That's this mask. That's this mask right here. Even though it looks kind of a weird mask. You only use it once, and it's actually one of the last masks you'll probably get. But I got it. What episode was that? It wasn't too turn long ago. We got that, what, episode 40-something. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way to get back. The brown little, the brown pod flower shoots you up higher. You can fly a little longer than you can with the pink ones. So, I gotta wait. I want that brown one. I don't want the pink one. It won't shoot me up high enough. Like, come on. I don't want to be uh, sort of brushed off by those spike thingies. They're mean. Longer. And then, get in your flower. Go to your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. I think I made it very successfully. Pretty fly for a Deku Scrub guy. And there he is. I found you. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Okay. And you kind of have to surrender all your masks to these demented children. Hehe, <laughs> thanks, you're nice. Um, can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? Weird, demented children. That's why it's the best game ever. Oh dear, now I get to walk all the way back. 
Yeah, I do recommend hanging on to the Master of Truth if you have it, just just so you can read those uh, gossip stones. That's what I recommend. Or are they are they spiritual stones or gossip? No, they're, they're gossip stones. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my Zelda terminology. They're gossip stones. I promise. Spiritual stones are the things you collect in Ocarina of Time. Initially, before you start the medallions, and this is the next kid I want. Yeah, he's got goat's mask. Oh, that's whether he says the same things. Yeah. Only this time, I have to give him two instead of uh, one. So I'll keep. I'll get rid of these two. These two are still kind of useful, so I'll just. I'll get rid of the ones I know for sure I don't need to have. Here you go. Here's a fox. Thanks, you nice person. Hide and seek and all that. Okay, that's cool, I guess. And here we have the Goron section. I'm a Goron, because that's how I roll. Horrible, horrible puns were said today, folks. I apologize. This is really annoying and tricky. I hate this. I'm probably going to fail a lot. This is a horrible, horrible thing. I hate this so much. Tricky is not to control anything there, and then you gotta kinda adjust a little, and oh gosh. It, it becomes scary and hard to control and hard to stay on. Ah! And then I stop rolling when I sense I'm in too much danger. But I should have enough time to pick up a speed and roll down this way. I think. This is all for a piece of heart. A piece of heart is this way. If I can just stay straight, I'm good to go. I'm gonna stop here, because I don't trust that bounce. Okay, I should be lined up. Uh, put burst into flames in time, or spikes, I should say. Woo! Made it. Nailed it. That went a lot more smooth than I thought it was going to be. It usually takes me like 20 tries to get that right. Why are things going right suddenly? It doesn't normally happen in Let's Plays. Everything goes wrong. But anyway, let's read this one. Out of sheer curiosity. It seems the Great Fairy intended the Great Fairy's Mask. Well, of course it did. That's one you're probably not likely to miss, but you could. It's one of the first masks that's, that's possible to obtain. One of the very first you have the opportunity to get. And going back, I guess I'll hop. Not ramp. After I build up some speed. Doingy. I have a feeling this is going to take me right back to the beginning. I think, yeah, it is. But that's okay, I guess I gotta... It's not that hard to get to the exit. That I can do. So, no problem there. Let's do this like Leroy Smith, I guess. Well, I really had a hard time with the first time I played this game is I kept trying to steer in this part, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to let the bounces just do it automatically. You just hold down the A button. Let's see, the exit's this way. Uh, you don't want to step on that because that takes you back to the front to the entrance, so I'm not even going to try to read those gossip stones. It's too risky. If I can just line up the camera. Uh, yeah. Woo! Made it. I'm getting the snail out of here. Ow. Getting the snail out of here. I don't like that place. It's a horrible, horrible place. You found me. One more mask. You can't give them your transformation masks, but you can give them the others. I'll give them... Yeah, I really don't need the bunny hood, so I'll give that up. So here you go. I give you Falco, and I give you Peppy. Hey, thank you, guys. Oh yeah, I'll give him too. I forgot. I was thinking three for some reason. You, what makes you happy? I wonder. What makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? What a weird kid. Okay, I guess I'll keep this pretty short. I'll tackle the next two in the next episode. Just go ahead and re-equip some of this. Alright, well, see you next time as I finish up playing hide and seek with the remaining kids. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.